Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking for the weekend, everybody. How are you? I hope you are having a great weekend, and I hope you plan on getting out and grounding yourself, cleansing your energy, getting those detox baths I have, all those spiritual candles, and just trying to transmute this energy into something positive, okay? So, welcome back, and thanks for joining me. I truly appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you so very much. And this is What's Shaking for the Weekend. All right, so let's see what's shaking here. So it's like, it's some type of security that you're looking for in a relationship. All right, that's in regards to love. Somebody wants security, all right? Somebody's out there having that unprotected sex this weekend, unprotected, all right? They might want to come over and Netflix and chill, or this is what a lot of you guys are doing this weekend, all right? But making sure that you have protected sex because somebody wants to have unprotected sex. Okay, yeah, somebody's hating on you now. This could be somebody that you departed from, a masculine energy, who is hating on you now, like pissed off. They're still watching you, but they just hating on you because maybe you're not giving this person the time of day. You're not invested in this situation any longer, okay? And yeah, because somebody's for the streets, and they fucking everybody in the streets, okay? And that's what Divine is saying, and they're not even using protection here. So just be careful with this energy. All right, this could be somebody you know or somebody you meeting, and you guys, this person could be coming over to watch Netflix. So be careful, okay? So somebody's still right here sleeping with the enemy. Somebody is still sleeping with the devil, the enemy, okay? And this is they catering to this person's body. Somebody could be dealing with a sexual addiction, just all about sex. And Divine said, this person ain't shit. Whoever this masculine energy is, they could look like this person. Divine saying this person ain't shit. All right? They just all about the sex. Okay? And they're sleeping with the enemy. Okay? And this person needs to be worried about their bills. They could have a bill collector. This could be a street bill collector. All right? So this could be something in the streets because somebody is strictly for the streets. All right? So somebody is in a complicated situation here. All right? And they could have been laying up or booed up with somebody here. They just have sex here, cuddle, and spend time together. This is that Netflix and chill energy. All right? They're going to be all booed up in a complicated situation because somebody is needy. Somebody don't like to be alone here. All right? Somebody could be a social butterfly. It could be an air sign. Jim not Libra Aquarius. But it's like questionable energy here with this person here. Somebody keep dealing with somebody from their past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they're regretting this situation now. All right? Somebody regretting this situation. It could have led to legal problems. All right? And somebody needs to start from ground zero with their finances. Somebody could have lost everything. Took some type of hit. All right? And somebody could have lost a job here. Divine is saying that there's going to be joy and contentment in a situation. All right? And somebody's very suspicious of someone's behavior. All right, their conversations. Somebody's got trust issues. Somebody's very pessimistic, pessimistic about a situation. It's like somebody always thinking the worst. Very suspicious of someone. All right. So the words I got for you guys this weekend. It's all about clarity, finding the truth out in the situation here about something in regards to love. All right. Somebody could be an inspiration to you. Okay, or vice versa. All right, and this is patience, having patience and believing in divine timing. All right, having integrity within yourself. All right, I feel like if you know it's not right, have integrity. Okay, and this is positivity. All right, try to be positive. Um, I hear in your manifestations because what you put out there is what you're getting back. You guys could be manifesting. I feel like I said that in one of my videos. And, um, you know, make sure you're manifesting the right things in your life at this time. All right. So let's get off into the energy here. Somebody is very suspicious of someone. Okay. So somebody is a social butterfly. Let's clarify shit that needs to be questioned this weekend. What is this questionable energy, Holy Spirit, for the weekend? All signs. All right. Yeah, somebody is a green thumb. Somebody loves to plant. Somebody thinking about doing this, doing their own yard, you know, planting a whole bunch of stuff. Some botanical garden type of energy here. All right. Somebody wants to be spontaneous, but they could be scared. All right. Somebody's scared to do something. It could be like zip lining. It could be jumping off some shit. Somebody kind of scared. All right. Somebody's very 
uh, skillful, but their skills could be in question. All right, whatever this is, a craftsman, or their skills could be in question. All right, somebody's bragging about what they can do and how well they do it. But I feel like it's a question there, question mark, something's question about, about this energy. All right, they said somebody could be still in somebody else's work and claiming it as their own. All right, somebody's saying they're faithful, and that's in question. Somebody could be married here, all right, and they're saying they're faithful, and that is in question. Somebody's not faithful here, all right? What else we need to know? Yeah, adolescence here. Something's going on with an adolescence here. It could be a son here. Something's questionable. Somebody might get questioned. Something's happening with a son that's questionable. I feel like it has something to do with some sports. It has something to do with some drugs. Um, it could have something to do with molestation. All right. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yes. Somebody's trying to be confident in, in a situation here. You could be a Leo, but somebody needs to be confident in a situation here. All right. Somebody's questioning a Leo's confidence. Yeah. Somebody in their 40s. It's a masculine energy that could be walking away from a situation here. Going in another direction here. They're thinking about it. They question themselves here. Somebody could be dealing with a, a um, different race. Right? Somebody could be going to another country. Somebody's questioning this energy here. It could be a whole nother culture. Right? Somebody could be leaving for that, but they're in, in fear of that, questioning that, wondering if they're doing the right thing here. Somebody could be involved with a fear complex uh, female energy here. Somebody's thinking about something in regards to this person. Something's questionable. Something's not right in regards to this energy here. Somebody could be questioning this person's friends and family here. All right, so it's something going on with this person, friends, and family. I feel like this could be a karmic situation here that's going on here. Somebody could be questioning friends and family of a feminine. All right, yeah, somebody's all materialistic about fashion and beauty. All right, something going on with their spending. All right, I feel like somebody needs to justify their spending. Somebody wants to see somebody's records of income. This could be the IRS. Somebody could be spending money. But um, they could be getting watched by the FBI and somebody's not seeing that their income that's coming in is matching the income that's going out. Right? It's not matching here. Yeah. Somebody's a procrastinator. It could be an attorney as well. All right? Somebody could be procrastinated about going back to school. All right? And something about animals that's questionable. Somebody could be questioning what happened to an animal. Where is an animal? What is somebody doing with this animal? All right. And culinary arts. Somebody could be questioning somebody's cooking. And that's what your ancestors want you to do. Question somebody's cooking. Somebody's cooking is questionable. It could be poisoned here. All right. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. That's questionable. Their cooking could be questionable. Okay. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's some questionable energy. Okay. Yes. And it also could be an earth sign involved in a situation that's questionable. Uh, um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's this needy energy for the weekend? Who's needy this weekend? What's this energy? Yep, somebody's side piece is needy. All right? They want to see you today, this weekend. All right? This person is perfectly imperfect. Somebody's trying to establish a connection with their side piece. Who's needy? Okay, so this could be the needy side piece. Okay, if I say yes, this is the needy person here. Yeah, that wants to be all booed up and cuddled up with somebody here this weekend here. All right, what's this energy? Yeah, um, somebody's authentic. It feels like home. Maybe this um, side piece that's needy makes somebody feel at home in a situation here. Yeah, this side piece could be all in. Okay, and it's a lot of jealousy going on with this person. Somebody could be jealous. Okay, yeah, it's a spiritual connection going on here. Somebody's very intense about how they feel about somebody spiritually, but somebody is not investing into a situation. All right, so somebody's not investing here. Somebody could have an easy side piece, but they want to go to a spiritual connection. 
All right. It's secretive. Somebody's hiding how they truly feel about this connection. All right. Yeah. And no love here. All right. Don't force things, you know, on what's not there. So there's really no love here. Wherever they at right now, they know it's no love. But somebody's trying to force it and make it work out when somebody else's head is in another direction. All right. And this is, yeah, somebody trying to force some romance. Okay. Somebody's trying to act like their needs are being met. Okay. Holy Spirit. Yeah. But somebody just a text buddy. Somebody just gives short texts. All right. Yeah. Somebody is just being utilized for entertainment when somebody's bored here. Okay. Yeah. Just for fun. You know, so that's what this energy is right here. It's just a side piece and somebody's literally treating you like just a side piece. Okay? So just be careful. Alright? Don't get your feelings hurt. But somebody's treating you as such. Alright? Everything happens in divine timing. Alright? Something real will happen in divine timing. Until then, you will continue to go back and forth with somebody who's already in some type of relationship. Okay? Somebody who always come back and forth. Okay? So somebody, as we see, is sleeping with the devil. All right. It could be somebody's son. All right. Somebody could have a son with this person. All right. Why they stay here. All right. What's this energy? All right. Yeah. Somebody's giving evil eye to somebody's son. All right. Your child, a baby mama could be giving evil eye out. All right. It could be to your son. Somebody could have a son with a basketball player. All right. What's this energy? Ooh, this card is so big, so I got to take it slow. All right. Yeah, somebody could have had a son with somebody, okay? Or they giving this evil eye to a baby mama who have a son with so-called, I guess, their man or somebody they fucking, all right? It's more than just lust here. Somebody wants you to know it's more than just lust. But every time you go with this person, all y'all do is fuck, all right? That's some energy for this weekend. All y'all do is fuck. All right, yeah. Somebody is deleting their feelings. All right, this could be a feminine energy that's just giving up on feelings. Whoever this person that just come and screw you, they don't have any feelings or emotions. All right, somebody dealing with a past life connection. This could be a karmic situation from the past life. You know, somebody got burned in this situation here. All right, let me get these cards. Okay. This is the Empress. Yeah, so in a past life, somebody um, chose over this Empress, okay? And they could have had a son with a karmic energy, all right, that they didn't have feelings for. Somebody didn't know how to express their feelings, all right? Somebody's getting readings on the Empress here to find out what's going on with this, thinking somebody could be trying to reconnect with an Empress, all right, who could be self-employed. Somebody could be their own boss here. Yeah. All right, I know you fucking lying. So somebody thinking that, you know, somebody went back to this empress, trying to connect with this empress. Somebody could be arguing with somebody about this. All right, somebody acting like they don't care. It's a lot of gossip going on here this weekend. All right, it's definitely some baby mama drama. Somebody need to step back and breathe. Somebody don't want to get caught up in situations. All right, yeah, somebody's trying to move in silence. But I feel like people just talking and gossiping here. All right. Somebody just want their personal business to be their personal business. Yeah. Somebody's in sorrow about a situation and choosing to be single. Somebody don't want to be nobody's girl because it's a bunch of fuck shit going on here. All right. Yeah. Somebody's falling off. I keep getting this energy that somebody might fall off of something. All right. And just make sure that you with somebody you can trust because I get a push energy as well. But somebody could be falling off something this weekend. All right. Also, just be careful. Somebody could be trying to commit suicide as well. Whew. All right. Holy Spirit. What's this energy? Yeah, slow. All right. So somebody could either have slow twins or some type of twins with some type of disability. All right. Or just two people just slow as hell. Mm -hmm. It's an ugly energy. The green eye envy type of energy is here. All right. Yeah. Somebody has an STD. All right, here's the blue waffle. I don't know what that means, but somebody put it in the comment section. So this is an STD and somebody you're dealing with. This is a warning. Somebody might not even tell you that they have an STD. Somebody could have also been dealing with somebody that's handicapped. And they could have gave them an STD. 
All right. Yeah. Somebody have mental issues. Yeah. Somebody have mental issues and somebody could have been dealing with this person and gave them an STD. If somebody was having sex with somebody who's mentally disabled, they could have given them an STD. Yeah. Somebody who have mental issues and somebody could have been dealing with somebody toxic. All right. Toxic energy is here. For somebody who have mental issues. All right, and I want to cater to your body. So somebody could have been dealing with somebody who have mental issues and just a little slow. Somebody could have just been having sex with them. Okay, just having sex with somebody. This could be somebody from the 90s. They could be born in the 90s. Somebody could love 90s music here. All right, yeah, somebody think this person is very pretty. Somebody could be hypnotized, magnetized by um, somebody, you know, that's younger here or in the 90s. And they cater to this person's body here. All right. This person could be at a distance from somebody here. All right. Yep. Yeah. And this person ain't shit. So they could be talking to someone who is at this distance. Okay. And this could be somebody that they done slept with, had some type of relationship, but now they at a distance from this person. All right. Hmm. The vice said whoever this person is, they ain't shit. Yep. Yeah. They could be a baby daddy. This person could have a lot of children. Whoever this person is, they could have a lot of children. A lot of people is calling this person daddy. Okay? <laughs> and if I said they don't even take care of their kids here. This is this weekend's energy. You might find out about somebody. Alright, so all these cards fell on the floor here. Somebody might be going on a getaway. Alright. Somebody could be moving on. Somebody could be going on a trip to the beach right here. All right. And somebody could be in some type of abusive relationship here. All right. So I have some energies I need to pick up here. All right. So, yeah, somebody's in some type of abusive relationship here this weekend. All right. It could be a child. And I got a dad. You know, her shirt says dad. Maybe this dad is doing some type of abuse to a child here. All right. Somebody could have ran away from a situation. All right. Somebody might find out that somebody have a whole lot of kids. All right. Somebody's just working on their finances, just working, working, working. Boss bitch energy. All right. Somebody's hiding how they feel, their emotions. Somebody got played here. Their mask is coming off here. People starting to find out the truth about somebody. All right. It could be a new love interest that somebody met to have a lot of secrets here. All right. And somebody could be taking pain pills could be having tension headaches around your neck and your shoulder area here all right this might be some energies for this weekend all right yes and somebody could be pregnant and their baby could be due all right somebody's baby could be due this weekend all right any more energies this weekend holy spirit i seem like a lot of energy to me yeah and somebody's just stalking all right, somebody could be peeking in your windows, trying to see if you fucking around with somebody, trying to see if you got company. All right, Holy Spirit, what's this energy? It's a big mama energy here, a grandmother that could be taking care of a son. All right, somebody could be out here stalking, and then they mama taking care of their son. All right, yes, yeah, cuffing season. Somebody trying to top as many as they can. I get Daisy Duke energy. All right, somebody out here flirting with everybody, everybody dressing sexy. Somebody's getting caught up on that energy and trying to make everybody theirs. All right, so that's some energy that's just happening this weekend. All right, let's move on here and see what else is happening. Okay, we're into 18 minutes. Somebody is suspicious of some energy. So let's see what somebody is suspicious of. And we're going to use what the fuck shit is happening this weekend. All right, what are they suspicious of? All right, Holy Spirit, what are they suspicious of? What is somebody suspicious of, Holy Spirit? All right, <laughs> oh, some fuck shit on somebody's phone. All right, this is what somebody's suspicious of. Somebody found some shit on somebody's phone, and they're very suspicious of it, okay? Holy Spirit, what are they suspicious of? There's a lot of cards, okay? Yeah, that somebody's in high demand here. Somebody be fucking around with everybody. Somebody think they God's gift. Wow, that somebody is spreading an STD. Somebody thinks somebody know that they have an STD and is spreading this intentionally. Somebody is deliberately not wearing a condom. And to clarify that, look, the next card is a dirty dick. All right? So somebody, 
know that they've been out here fucking around a lot of people and somebody's been spreading an STD intentionally. All right? Somebody could be body shaming somebody. Somebody could be feeling some kind of way about their weight. Somebody could have talked about somebody's weight on the phone. All right? Somebody's always in and out of your life in your bed. All right? And somebody is leaving you for them. Somebody want to be with somebody else. It could be because of weight. And somebody has an STD. All right? Yeah. Somebody keep playing games. Somebody suspicious of that. All right? Yeah. Does somebody keep having one night stands? Somebody out here having one night stands and catching STDs. And somebody suspicious of this energy. All right? What else are they suspicious of? This is a lot of fuck shit. All right? Because this person is arrogant as fuck. All right? They don't care. All right? Yeah. Hard to understand. You don't know what they want from you. All right? You cut them off and they mad you left. Because you got tired of being suspicious of this motherfucker. All right? The next energy right here is this person is always stalking everybody that they used to date. Everybody they used to go with. They keep stalking their exes. All right? The next energy is, yeah, they keep putting people in third party fuck shit. All right? Somebody is just a drama king or a drama queen. This is what they do. This is why everybody is suspicious of this motherfucker. They always deny accountability for the shit that they do. All right? This is why you suspicious. All right? This pan this person could have a fans only page. You suspicious of that. You found out something like that. Okay? Somebody could definitely still be in contact with third parties. This is what they like. Somebody could be an escort and selling it. You know, making money off of having sex with people. Somebody's suspicious of that. Only take what resonates with you. If you suspicious of some shit, all right? This is your confirmation right here, okay? Yeah, somebody always making false accusations. Somebody could be accusing somebody of some shit that they really didn't do, okay? Yeah, somebody's trying to control people through sex. Somebody trying to tie people down through sex, tell you what you want to hear, have sex with you, and then they're gone. All right. Somebody's trying to convince you to be a swinger or have group sex with them as well. All right. The next energy is it's bad timing to reconnect with whoever this is. This is bad timing. This is um, energy that this person can't be trusted. They have not changed. And this person is a scam artist to get money. All right. This person could scam people out of money. You suspicious about that. All right. You feel like they went on some third party romantic weekend and they lied to you about that. And you suspicious about that. All this person do is put suspicion in your head and your heart. Okay. Holy Spirit said, wait a minute. It's more suspicion. All right. Holy Spirit. Yes. Because this person is addicted to karmics. They like third parties. They like side pieces. They don't like no commitment. Look at this. Because divine said this person don't know how to love. They don't know how to be there for you, all right? This person got child support to pay. They dodging all these responsibilities. They got legal problems to pay. You suspicious, all right? It's a lot of outsiders that's exposing things about this person. You know, people that they did wrong is out there in the streets telling their business, out there in the streets in the community, all right? Somebody's blaming you for everything that went wrong in their life. This is what they feel like. Somebody blaming them for everything. All right. And somebody is trying to make you a permanent side piece. This is all they're going to do to you is make you a side piece. And now they're facing karma for all of this fuck shit that they done done and brought into their life. All this shit they done did right here done brought into their life. And Divine said what? Because Divine said because they confused as fuck. They don't know what the fuck is going on. All right, they ended up with somebody who doing spell work against them and you. Whoever they love. Because they confused is what Divine is saying. Okay, so what's new coming in your life? What's new coming in your life? What's new coming in your life, Holy Spirit? In love, what's new? What's something stable? All right, Divine said, first we got to work on our self-love. We got to be able to love ourselves so we can draw that same energy in. All right. Until then, you're going to keep drawing in motherfuckers who shady, 
who you got to be suspicious of, all right? Somebody stuck in nostalgia energy, a lot of memories going on here. You could be feeling this energy. You could be thinking about this person, all right? But you got to still work with your own self-love and what's best for you so you can harvest this energy. Bring in somebody who's stuck on the same energy that you put out, okay? It's what Divine is saying. Self-love is everything. So you can have a deeper intimacy here with somebody that's new. Okay, this is what you got to work on. All right, look at that, a new chapter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In order to have a new chapter is what Divine is saying. You got to work on you. Yup, very soon you'll get this new chapter in your life. New love is coming in here. All right, but somebody still want to come in and have a final shot with you. All right, somebody still want to test you. Divine might still want to test you here. All right, you're going to have to make a decision. You're being guided to choose wisely in a situation here. You're gaining all this clarity through all of the readings and stuff that you're watching here. You're gaining clarity, okay, about a divine union. All right? So divine is bringing you in a new counterpart, and you could have an old one that's trying to return. But this person still could be stuck in karmic-ass energy, okay? Yep, and they're still not accountable for shit that they do. They just act like they don't know what's up. They don't have to explain shit to you. All right, somebody's still stuck in mind fuck energy. This could be a full blown narcissist as well. All right, and you're being guided to free yourself from this energy. Free yourself, and you know, allow yourself to be free again. Don't be stuck in somebody, somebody's fantasy where they just want to come in and fulfill you sexually. Don't get stuck in that energy, is what Divine is saying to you. All right, because it's only ecstasy and it's only temporary. Okay, spend some time with your friends and family. Try to build some of those bonds up, okay? And this is so you can also start building a new future for yourself. Divine wants you to see things differently, okay? Instead of being with some motherfucker who annoyed the shit out of you. All right? This motherfucker annoyed the shit out of you. So what you want, a new future? Or you want somebody who annoyed the shit out of you? All right? Because Divine trying to bring you some type of joy and commitment. But we keep having these past energies return. Six of Cups. Returning with all this remorse and regret and all that bullshit. All right. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Our finances here for the weekend. We need to get out the house and get some fresh air. We need to go to the beach and let the water get between our toes here. All right. Somebody is just all work and no play. You might feel bored. It's the summertime. Divine wants you to get out here. All right. Everything happens in divine timing with your finances here. All right. You guys are very creative. It's a lot of other things that you can do, you know, um, to bring asset, um, ac assets into your home. Okay? It's a lot of other things you can do. All right? Look at this. Fake partnership. It came out in reverse. So, Divine is saying, abandon this fake partnership. Because somebody's trying to come towards you with this energy. Somebody could be just here in survival mode, only for financial statuses. Somebody's a liar and they're untrustworthy. All right? And your finances here. Okay, with these energies. Yeah, somebody's overthinking about how to get money. Somebody's trying too hard. All right, but you just need to stay positive. And this is what divine is saying. Slow and steady runs the race. All right, yeah, somebody could be moving. All right, worried about having enough money to move. All right, somebody's having a new home here, a new town. It's going to be a big change here, a relocation here. All right, and somebody is going on that vacation, that getaway. Divine saying you deserve it here. All right, somebody's coming into a windfall, an inheritance, a settlement, or a lottery winning. All right, Holy Spirit, yes, but somebody's being warned about a situation here. It could be in regards to this windfall. Yeah, it's a bad ideal. So somebody could be trying to take this windfall from you guys. I feel like it's a set up energy here. All right, yeah, because they eyeballing this shit. That's what Divine is saying. Somebody's got ill will towards your money. Somebody is watching it very heavily. Somebody is stalking your text messages heavily, your emails. Somebody's trying to block out any type of business or anything of importance in your email. All right? And that's what Divine said. That's a warning. Somebody is watching that shit. All right? Because they think that it's a great investment. Divine timing is here. Somebody think they're going to have a fruitful outcome off of your windfall. All right, so be aware of this energy because your ancestors and divine is all on top of it. Like divine is watching whoever's watching you. Okay, yeah. 
Some of you guys could be spoiling yourself, going out here to the mall and buying yourself some things. All right, divine saying don't overdo it. Stay within a price guide range. All right, don't be out there spending all that money on shit you really can't afford, and then you can't eat or pay your bills after your shopping trip. All right. So this is, today is a lucky day. All right, you're gonna make it count. Somebody got a lucky day coming towards them. All right, yes. Somebody could be getting a new job. All right, they're gonna be very happy here. Somebody's getting a new job, and they're gonna be very happy here. But something is a badass ideal. So let me clarify this, because this came out again, this bad ideal, this warning, and this windfall. Somebody could be trying to set somebody up here. All right. Yeah, somebody want to fuck with somebody's joy and contentment. Holy Spirit, what is this energy of a bad ideal? Somebody is, is trying to plot and strategize. Holy Spirit, what's this bad ideal about this windfall and this warning? Give me the energy that we need to know. All yeah, right, so it could be a playboy type of energy here. A knight of cups, a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look at this shit. Somebody you ended some shit with. All right. Now, there also could have been a passing and someone could have left someone an inheritance. Somebody's been warned about something. All right. Yeah, somebody's stalking to try and see something about an inheritance if you received it. Okay. Or if you got something here, somebody's curious about it. Yeah. Somebody's trying to cause a tower moment. I feel like this is a setup. This could be a robbery. Somebody's trying to see if you got some type of inheritance or some money. And they could be trying to plot against you, which is a bad idea. And it's going to lead to a tower moment and possibly a death. Okay, it's what I see here. Look at that. And somebody's going to be locked up in jail. Somebody's trapped in a situation. Somebody could have planned and plotted before against some type of um, inheritance, a settlement, or a winning. All right, somebody could be in jail for that. Somebody could have been trying to kill somebody and plot for that. There's been a tower moment here. And somebody kept getting warned about this. Somebody's trying to steal from somebody else's their riches. Mm, look at that. Look at that and doing spell work on it too. So you wouldn't get this. Somebody's trying to take this away from you. They even doing spell work on it under the new moon. All right. It could be an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Somebody don't want you to have no money, a page, a pinnacle. Somebody wants you to start all over from ground up. All right. Somebody wants you to be broke, have a lot of stuff to pay. All right. So you can't afford. You know, somebody wants you to be broke. Somebody could have had lost their life due to spell work. Somebody could have got locked up in jail. Somebody also could have tried to set you up. Mm. Somebody do not want you to have some money, collective. All right, whoever this is for, somebody do not want you to have this windfall. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the domestic realm. All right, and then I'll let you guys go. Holy Spirit, what's going on for the weekend in the domestic home front? What's going on for the weekend? Domestic home front energy, Holy Spirit, for all signs. What's going on? Tell us what we need to know. All right. So it's a glitch in the matrix. Somebody's running wild out here. All right. Somebody's a loose cannon. All right. And just be careful, too. I see like a lightning strike here. All right. Somebody could be hit by lightning. All right. Some freak um, accident is what I hear here. All right, and the schools are out of um, kids are out of school. You need to complete your skit your kids um, paperwork so they can get back in school for the next semester. Somebody need to complete some paperwork for their kids um, in regards to school forms. All right, somebody need to get their kid potty trained here. Somebody need to spend time potty training their kids. They still they getting too old to be on pull ups. So potty train your kids, okay? And this is health insurance. Something's going on with a health insurance policy, all right? And also somebody need to get health insurance. All right, I hear a policy too. Somebody could be getting a health insurance policy. Somebody could have one. It could be somebody as old as getting some care. Somebody taking care of them. 
All right. Yeah, somebody's about to get some certified mail to their home. All right. Somebody also watching your mail. All right. And something going on with a cup here. You might be a coffee drinker here. All right. You might get some type of certified mail to your home. And something you might have to take action on quickly. All right. You might have to take action on this quickly. Here's what I see. All right. So somebody's electronics and IT might go out. But this is somebody's shit being hacked too as well. All right. Somebody could be up in your business hacking your systems. And they might go out. All right, your IT or any electronics around your home. Somebody could be doing spell work or just hacking you. Okay, this is meals. All right, weekday breakfasts. Somebody need to make sure you're eating breakfast or some type of morning food. Something in the morning around your home. You need to cook the kids some breakfast. Okay, and the next energy is groceries. I guess you need to buy some groceries so you can start cooking breakfast at home. Okay. The next energies I got right here is home maintenance. So you might have to get some home maintenance. It could be a leaky pipe, all right, that's keep leaking, that's causing your water bill to go up here, all right? Something around your home. Make sure everybody turning off the um, water faucets, all right? And that's what I have for you guys here. And yes, this is money manager, making sure that you're not spending too much money decorating your home, okay? Whatever it is that you do, buying expensive furniture and putting all this on credit cards. All right, so something about credit cards, somebody using credit cards to manage their money and to pay their bills around their home. So just be careful about your spending, guys. And this is what I have for you guys. Divine said they're trying to bring you joy and contentment. Everything happens in divine timing. Just be patient here, and they are proud of you. All right, that's why you guys could be seeing the sun a lot, because they're proud of you. Your ancestors, divine, they're proud of you. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. If you want your own personal reading, give me um, a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thank you guys. And this is What's Shaking for the Weekend. Bye-bye.